As an environmental engineer, um, it was actually in 2001 when I heard about our trash ending up in the ocean, I said to myself, well, we're probably doing something wrong on land, which is where I do my municipal work, for our trash to be ending up in the ocean that's not where it's supposed to be. Initially, marine debris, we were looking out in the ocean and finding plastic and finding animals interacting with that. Um, and when we made this estimate of the actual input of plastic in the ocean, and, and not just that number, the 8 million metric tons, but trying to visualize that number. So what I did was turn that into a volume that you can imagine. So if we all stand hand to hand covering the coastline of the world, we would each have in front of us five grocery size bags filled with plastic. And that's what we estimate is going in every year. And it's really our everyday activities, the waste that we generate every day um, when we decide to get a cup of coffee or a packaged food item. That is the kind of waste that I'm talking about that can end up in our ocean if we don't manage it properly. And so you have impacts to animals interacting, ingestion, um, entanglement, and, and, you know, and we're not sure actually even about human health and potential impacts to the, the food web and the ecosystem that we participate in as well. What we're starting to see is that really the plastic, when it breaks down into these smaller and smaller particles called microplastic, they are ending up everywhere. So we see it in some of the food products that we're consuming, like table salt. You see it in some of the filter feeder uh, seafood. We don't know the impacts yet on health, whether or not it has an impact, direct impact on us. Um, but we are really kind of seeing it everywhere, so it's sort of this, there's a level of concern be, because of that. If you can sort of avoid a single-use item, if you can use a reusable bottle, if you have access to clean tap water and can do that, that's one way that you can make a difference. Just managing your waste properly, um, trying to think about how you could develop a recycling system, maybe if there isn't one, to then add value to that plastic, because if it has value, then it's typically not going to end up littered in the environment. Um, and then potentially doing a cleanup in some places, you know, that can um, not only help to keep the plastic out of the ocean, but we can collect data with that. So there's many mobile apps out there. One is Marine Debris Tracker, and if you have the data of what you're finding in the environment, then maybe you can look at upstream solutions to avoid that.